everybody, welcome back to Miriam Cast channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to be vegan in Sri Lanka and I found it extremely easy. So I'm going to be sharing with you all the tips and tricks that I have to be vegan in Sri Lanka. So let's begin. So in most of our accommodations, we have been really lucky because breakfast has been included. So that really helps us get in our breakfast in the morning. We don't have to buy anything and we don't really have to spend money outside. So we are currently eating our breakfast just here. So our most simple thing is basically just bread, with jam and fruits and that's pretty much the basics of every day's breakfast isn't it? Mm -hmm. Unless we are lucky to have some Sri Lankan breakfast which would be much better. So as a vegan the main source of your food is obviously going to be fruits and veggies. We are super lucky because Sri Lanka has so many of that and super cheap as well especially in the local market. So right now just behind me we're going to go to the fruit and veg market and we're actually going to cook today because our place comes with the kitchen so let's go and see what we can get today in our shopping Yeah, that's good. That's enough. Okay, we need tomato. Tomato? How many? Maybe four? A big one one big one. That's fine. That one's perfect. Lovely. 220. Okay, thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you so much again. Thank you. Okay, guys, so we got some potatoes, we got some tomatoes, onions, our beans. Uh, let's still walk around and see what else we can find for our dish, yeah? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, good. No, it's fine. You don't care. Is this ginger? Yeah, ginger. Yes, please. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. How much we owe you? 145. 145, yeah? And that is a market shopping done. As you saw, there's so many fruits and veggies being sold in the markets here in Candy. We are super excited that we're going to be cooking with those ingredients today because we have a kitchen. I'm not going to be cooking. Josh is going to be cooking because he is a great... Yes, I am. Chef. Okay. And now we are off to our supermarket where we're going to buy more of the ingredients that we need for today's dinner and lunch. So we're just entering a supermarket here in Sri Lanka. Kels is one of their main brands. So this shop has also plenty of veggies, but it's just more expensive in here than obviously compared to your normal market. So I recently discovered these tiny little oranges. I really like them. Uh, they come in like bags and there's like a, just a bunch of them in there they're about 250 rupees another one of our favorite things is this mushrooms these are like kind of oyster mushrooms in uk and they are super expensive in the uk but super cheap here in sri lanka they are only 90 rupees which is super cool let's get one of those then okay then obviously our main source of protein is soya tofu and they have so many of these soya tofus here like have a look guys it's only 150 rupees super cheap and we absolutely love having tofu in all of our meals sri lanka is also pretty popular for these soya meats they are like what would you call them soya protein chunks yeah kind yeah, of and, and over here which we don't have in back home that they're flavored they come with flavoring and they are like super cheap look at this guys 70 rupees and that is like 30 pence if you were to buy this in uk it would be like at least two pounds yeah. super expensive and they just have so many different ones as you can see literally the shelf is filled with them they have fish flavors they have chicken flavors we did check and they, they are vegan it's just the flavoring vegetable ones so many different ones so this is another one of our favorite things that we love to buy here in sri lanka what's cool in sri lanka is that you can buy all of these as well you know like rice we have some lentils chickpeas these are our favorite vegan biscuits nice cookies are we getting some uh yes 
they are as basic. You can see, they are nice. They are really nice. Then of course, what else we buy is milk. There is not a lot of options for non-dairy milk, but we just found a new one, almond. A vanilla almond, 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 almond. We usually buy either one of those small ones or soya milk. Soya milk costs about 500 rupees. It's not here right now. So we just done our shopping in the supermarket. We're ready to go home now and cook some delicious vegan lunch. So this is what it turns out to be the final result of Josh's cooking. So I think this meal is probably 500 rupees, which in pounds it's two pounds. And it tastes really good, so thank you for cooking for us. It's okay. So we have been using Happy Cow application in Candy a lot actually, and we found a lot of options for us vegans, and two of those options were actually ice cream. But if you didn't know, Happy Cow is an application where you can research where vegan food is, vegetarian food is, and I think mixed as well, but it's mainly for vegan and vegetarian people who look online to find these unique places online. Okay guys, like we've said, we've been using the app Happy Cow. And when it comes to candy, there is a lot of vegan and vegetarian options here. And this place that we just said about the ice cream is probably one of the best soft serves I've had ever. So this place is kind of like a little hidden gem. It doesn't look like quite a place that sells like plant-based stuff like that. It's not really like quirky or anything like that that you would expect. But up these stairs, you will see that it's very busy, uh, very local and very popular. So uh, let's get amongst it. We've got a uh, soya bun here which has lettuce, tomato, and then you got like a soya patty here and then we got the soya roti which is um, a roti filling, um, I'm unsure but I'll find out now to be vegan because a lot of things can be veganized so as staple foods I usually rice on noodles and you just basically say with no eggs and just vegetables and that is really easy in terms of rice and curry that is kind of already vegan because you get so many sides and you get a little doubt but a lot of things which we were eating is just making sure it hasn't got any egg or milk you can always tell them that for example you're allergic because not a lot of people understand why you don't want to eat it we tried to explain so many times but they don't understand so if you just say you're allergic they understand that but yeah these are pretty much things that we usually get while being vegan in Sri Lanka and this is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed and it gives you some sort of understanding how you can be vegan in Sri Lanka yourself don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed if you have any questions don't forget to drop them down below and apart from that don't forget to subscribe to my channel because why not thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon see <laughs> oh my gosh this video is literally so hard to record because of Jujulina and Arella at the back disturbing but yeah thank you